These past two weeks have been incredibly exciting as we have seen enormous waves of leaks surrounding the upcoming OpenAI GPT-5 model, which is now heavily rumored to be releasing in August. In fact, all signs are pointing towards a launch on August 5th. Why this date, you may be wondering. Well, for starters, there are a couple of different YouTubers who have been scheduling GPT-5 related live streams for that exact date which wouldn't happen without insider confidence. On top of that, in the macOS ChatGPT app, as well as Cursor, two brand new model variants have been spotted, GPT-5 Auto and GPT-5 Reasoning. These are already appearing across a range of third-party apps, confirming backend integrations is kind of underway, and even more telling is with Google now indexing the official GPT-5 page. So we are clearly nearing an imminent release. Now, over the last two weeks, I've in fact have been also showcasing the stealth and silent models OpenAI has been testing under the radar within Ella Marina, as well as through OpenRouter. Everything from O3 Alpha to Lobster to Nightstar and many other models. And now we have just uncovered something entirely new, a brand new stealth model confirming to be from OpenAI that is unlike anything that we have showcased within the last two weeks. Allow me to introduce Horizon Alpha. Spotted earlier today on OpenRouter and Ella Marina, Horizon Alpha is rumored to either be a variant of GPT-5 or possibly being the new open source model that OpenAI is preparing to launch. It's insanely fast, remarkably good at generating long form writing and shockingly effective at one shot creations whether you're building apps or creating complex code snippets. And what I found about this model is that it also has a full reasoning mode enabled. It also comes with a two times larger context budget compared to O4 Mini, which is gonna give you more room for complex tasks as well as deeper comprehension. This model is pretty much a game changer and I hope that this could be the glimpse of the open source model that OpenAI is trying to release. Interestingly, the community has been testing out this model with different benchmarks. For example, on the visual physics comprehension test with non-reasoning enabled, which is pretty impressive, it was able to score a 45.2 percentage, which is where it's comparable up to the Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is great to see. And in my opinion, this looks like this might be the open source model that OpenAI is training. But aside from that, they we're able to also find that the Horizon Alpha does quite well on the low code diff, which is the long contest four tiles uh, benchmark. And this is where it was even better than the Gemini 2.5 Pro. At this moment, you can access the Horizon Alpha completely for free through OpenRouter via API. So you're going to be able to access and create this API completely for free without you even paying for anything. This is a model that has a 256K context window and the max output is 128k so you can easily get started with this i'll leave a link to this in the description below but keep in mind that all prompts and completions for this model are logged by the provider and may be used to improve the model and other products and services before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free now during my test unfortunately i wasn't able to access the reasoning mode a part of this model with the non-reasoning mode, the generations that I've gotten have been pretty impressive. This is just an example of someone creating a Pelican riding a bicycle, which was just generated in one shot within SVG code. And you can see the type of quality that you get with this model, and it's able to do it really quickly. For example, within the open router chat, I had simply just sent in this prompt to create the best looking SaaS landing page, and it was able to do it quite quickly within a couple of seconds. It generated this amount of code to have this generated. And you can see it looks absolutely amazing with all the components fully generated. I kid you not is the best butterfly I have seen anywhere. Now, if I was to showcase this, you would lose your mind because I simply just said, create me a butterfly in SVG code. And within 53 seconds, I was able to generate this animated butterfly. And you can see that you have different components that you can change, like the speed of the wings being flapped, as well as 
the amplitude, which is just insane to me. This is the type of capability that you get from this Horizon model. And it's not like I told it to animate it. It did it on its own free will, which is just great to see. Not only that, it's able to pass the strawberry test, which is also nice to see. And in terms of its reasoning capabilities, it does pretty exceptionally well. In this case, I asked it, I'm a truck driver making around 65K a year, and I'm aiming to retire in 30 years. Could you draft up a portfolio management proposal? In this case, you can see all the goals have been listed from the time horizon all the way to focusing on your debt, paying off your debt, your risk tolerance. And then from there, it had created a pretty nice looking plan, which focuses on how you can retire by 30. And overall, it was able to showcase its reasoning capabilities with this prompt, where it was able to understand the user income level, as well as the goal that the actual user had. And it was able to do all of these steps with the correct portfolio management knowledge. And you can see that it is pretty in-depth and it provides a lot of accurate data. And just to showcase the speed, you can simply say something like, create me the most realistic Minecraft clone. And right away, you can see within the artifacts that it rapidly starts coding. And you can see the speed plus the performance of this model live in action. It's not only is it able to do this rapidly, but it's able to back it up with qualitative code. And we will be able to see that it's able to generate this realistic Minecraft clone with a single prompt. Now, it's just crazy to see that we're getting to this point where we can one shot such applications quite quickly. So it's going to be helping us prototype within the next year insanely fast. And it's going to just be help us in so many ways in terms of using AI as a building block for whatever we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And just like that, it was able to create this beautiful Minecraft clone. Now I'm gonna open this up in an online HTML viewer, but you can see how amazing this actually looks. This is the sandbox that it was actually able to create. Now it's not perfect because the controls are a bit wonky, but you can see that it was able to create the basic sandbox, the trees, the different types of blocks that you can work with, like wood, grass, leaves, and then you have the ability to move around and place things if you required. Now, this example was probably the wildest. In this case, it was able to create a cinematic shoemaker ad creator. In this case, mm. you give it a slogan, the shoe name, as well as the main features of it, and it is able to animate an ad for that shoe and also add mm. sounds all on its own. This is just insane to me. These, all of these new variants that we're seeing from OpenAI are mm -hmm. capable of generating stuff like this. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now in conclusion, I confidently can say that this is the most capable non-reasoning model that I've tested in a while. Perhaps even the best in most categories from generating front-end all the way to working with SVG code, uh, using tools, and it is impressive in almost every front. This is why I really recommend that you try this out because they're soon going to be taking the Horizon Alpha off of OpenRouter. I know they're testing this out currently and all of the prompts could be logged by the provider itself. So keep that in mind, but still, I think it is a great opportunity to use this impressive new model completely for free. So if you're interested, I'll leave these links in the description below, but that's basically it guys. Let me know what you guys think. Is this the open source model that OpenAI is planning on releasing or could this be GPT-5 itself? A variant of it. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter as well as join our private discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I've actually posted a newsletter that's talking about the GPT-5 leaks. So make sure you go ahead and take a look at this. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.